Hey, good morning, you guys. I was watching this guy crawl, and then I watched him crawl directly underneath that seashell, that, that piece of clam shell, and he just stopped. And I was like waiting for him to crawl out from behind the clam shell, but he didn't. But now he's coming towards me. He's like, dude, why did you bug me? It looked like he was taking a nap underneath that clam shell. I thought he was going to be digging a hole and going underneath it, but he wasn't. The other day somebody asked me if uh, people dig for clams here, and they really do, and you can see there's a couple spots right here this morning, but over here somebody found a big bed, and they dug it all up first thing this morning, see, look, see all that sand piled up right there? That's, people were uh, digging up clams right there this morning, maybe an hour ago, and tide was lower, but now it's coming back. But it's still really low, as you can see. There's, a, you can, you can. Uh, it's got there's shore break, so you can. All this stuff that's breaking is on the outside or between the first and second sandbar, or before the third sandbar, and it's all uh, it's all shore break. The the water out there is the two, three, maybe even I mean, <laughs> barely four feet deep where these waves are all breaking out there. Just that. Gibbity. We're just out here, it's a Thursday morning. Pacific Ocean. This is Ocean Beach, California, San Francisco. Not to be confused with Ocean Ocean Beach, California, San Diego. There are two ocean beaches. California. One is in San Diego. One is in San Francisco. This is the northern one in San Francisco. The one in San Diego is probably not all encrusted with clouds and fog and 64 degrees. In San Diego right now, which is about six miles, six, six miles, about six hours seven hours straight south of us right down the coast all the way down there and uh, you get down there and it's probably 85 maybe 90 not this early though but yeah it's probably 80 degrees 75 degrees down there Get over on the other side of this V Street Cove right here. I met a girl who sang the blues. I asked her for some happy news. She just smiled and turned away. I went down to the sacred store where I'd heard the music years before. But the man there said the music wouldn't play and in the street the children screamed lovers cried and poets dreamed not a word was spoken the church bells all were broken the three men I admire most the Father, Son and Holy Ghost well, they caught the last train for the coast the day the music died. And we were singing, bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And good old boys drinking whiskey and rye singing this will be the day that I die
It's not far, not far to reach. But we can take a ride to Rockaway Beach. It's not far, not far to reach. But we can take a ride to Rockaway Beach. So, uh, Rockaway Beach. There's also two Rockaway Beaches. There's a Rockaway Beach that's about 15 minutes straight that way. Straight south, Rockaway Beach. And then there's another Rockaway Beach that's that way, east. I believe it's, what is it, like Long Island or something? It's New York. It's New York. Pretty sure it's New York. Rockaway Beach, straight that way, like an eight-hour flight. But there is a Rockaway Beach right here. And when, uh, when I brought my kids here, when we first moved here about 15 years ago, I, you know, of course, I raised my, my sons on the Ramones. So when they first saw the sign, well, actually, my sister used to live across, you know, on Rockaway Beach. They're still real close. They just don't, their new house isn't as close to Rockaway as it used to be. Anyway, their first house, their old house was right on Rockaway Beach. So my, my oldest son is like, whoa, is this Rockaway Beach? And I said, yeah, this is Rockaway Beach, but it's not the one that the Ramones are singing about, which was a disappointment to my son. So this is a great spot. It's actually firing right here. See this? I mean, it looks like crap right there, but in about, on the next set, see, so you look at that little bowl right there. So every three or four or seven waves, it's gonna be rideable right here. Just gotta wait. Look at this. And this is, it's like two feet deep or one feet deep where, the, where that wave is breaking. Just close out after close out, but every once in a while something will come through. But it's still a little fun to play around in because, you know, it's a foot deep. You just got to be careful you don't break your neck. <gasps> ah, excuse me. So, yes, in answer to a question that was received here on the channel some time ago, this is a good beach for digging for clams. Uh, people do it all the time when the time is right. I'm not sure what the how that works. I dug for clams a couple times when I was a kid with my mother. She grew up doing it. They used to do it as like a an activity, a clam dig or something. But yeah, she told me about it. But back in the 30s and the 40s and 50s, you know, people would come here as a family and dig clams and then they would have a, they would, you know, boil them in a pot on a fire or something like right here, I think. Anyway, they don't do that anymore. But now uh, the people that dig up the clams take them home and cook them. Reach, we can take a ride to Rockaway Beach. Hope you're doing okay. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever you are out there, and you're watching this video. Of all the videos on YouTube for you to be watching, for you to be watching this one. I appreciate it. Glad you made that choice. Not sure what compelled you, but here you are with me. We're on the beach. It's Thursday morning, July 25th, 2024. We're on a trek across the sand. Some fresh kelp this morning.
This is kind of some fresh tracks that you don't usually see. That's nice. I haven't seen this in a long time. This is uh, the, the ATV for the, the lifeguards. I don't know if this was last night. I bet you this was last night. I don't think the tide came up this high. Yeah, this is yesterday or something. Maybe yeah, this isn't that new. Anyway, you don't really... These guys used to be out here every single day patrolling, but they don't come down here at all anymore. I have... It's been months since I've seen a lifeguard truck or a lifeguard ATV. Months. I don't remember. This is like a zero patrolling that happens here at this beach. It's just kind of a free-for-all. Imagine that. Alright, let's go up here. I haven't been to my spot in a while. I haven't been coming down this far south. It's probably been a month or two since I've even been down here to this little lookout, the T Street lookout. We're gonna go climb up to the top and we'll take a look, see what we see. It's just foggy and fog, low tide. There's not much to see. Just low tide and foggy, I guess. But anyway, we're, we're gonna climb up it. One time a friend of mine said it looked like when I was climbing up this, this sand, this exact spot, he looked like he said it looked like you're ascending Golgotha. That's what he said. Looks like you're ascending Golgotha. It does look a little bit like that, I guess. Here we are. Welcome to Golgotha. Here's the city of San Francisco, the edge of it, the western edge. Thanks for joining me once again. If you're still here and you were here four minutes ago, it's nice to have you. Bang, bang, Lulu, Lulu's the gal for me. Who's gonna bang, bang, Lulu, when I go out to sea? Lulu had a boyfriend, she called him Tiny Tim. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He sank to the bottom, he floated to the top. Lulu got excited, grabbed him by his cocktails ginger ale five cents a glass if you do not like it you can kiss my ask me no more questions and I'll tell you no more lies if you happen to get hit with a bucket of shit be sure to close your eyes look at that right but it closed out <sighs> yeah so if you happen to get hit with a bucket of shit be sure to close your eyes Hey, look, it's me. This is who's been talking to you the entire time. My name's Meyer Greenblatt. You can just call me MGB if you want. Or Meyer. Or Dave, even. It's my Mars name. Martian name. Or maybe Meyer Greenblatt is my Martian name, and maybe Dave is my Earth name. I don't know. 
It's all the same to me and you. Who am I to blow against the wind? a young cowboy who lives on the range. His horse and his cattle are his only companion. He works in the saddle and sleeps in the canyon, waiting for summer, his pastures to change. As the moon rises, he sits by his fire. Thinking about women and glasses of beer. He closes his eyes as the doggies retire. Sings out a song that's soft but it's clear. As if maybe someone could hear. Good night you moonlight ladies. And rock a bye sweet baby Jane. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock a bye, sweet baby James? Well, the first of December is covered with snow. So was the turnpike from Stockbridge to Boston. Though the Berkshire seemed dreamlike on account of that frosting. Ten miles behind me, ten thousand more to go. There's a song that they sing when they take to the highway. A song that they sing when they take to the sea. A song that they sing of their home in the sky. Maybe you can believe it if you help me to sleep. But singing works just fine for me. Good night, you moonlight ladies. Rockabye, sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you help me go down in my dreams? And rockabye, sweet baby James. Point two million. No, oh, I know this house. 
as is. It must be tore up on the inside. Anyway, I know this house, and I like this house. 1.2 million, 24th anniversary. Anyway, 1.2 million. What did it say anything about the house? Because I think this. What is this? A four bedroom, two bath, or something? Doesn't say. It just makes sure they tell you as is, no soliciting for sale by owner. For a while, this was a, a beauty salon. This used to be a beauty salon like right here. Those three bay windows. These three bay windows used to be a beauty salon for a while, like 10, 15 years ago. We're at 22 minutes. This is probably going to be the end of this video. If it isn't already, it might have shut off by itself. Anyway, thanks for watching, whoever you are. Hope you have a fantastic day or evening. And I'll talk to you guys next time.